In this episode we are going to add one more field to our October CMS backend and we are going to make that field a boolean and it's going to determine is our car currently available for rent or not. So now we are going to go to our October CMS backend, go to builder and in view rent a car vehicles database we are going to add another column which is going to be called available and it's going to be type of boolean and it's not going to be nullable because we are going to have a default value for it uh, just save this save and apply uh, if we go to models we need to add that field uh, to our cars or our vehicles so that when we are adding vehicles or editing vehicles we can change if the vehicle is available or not so fields we are going to add a field right here which is going to be a switch and that switch is going to be checked by default and the field name is going to be available and the label is going to be available okay that's it save it and I'm just going to add another field to my list so that we can see which cars are available or not uh, just by looking at our vehicle list so we add another column call it available uh, the title is going to be available the type is going to be switch and we are not going to make it searchable or sortable save this okay now if we go to vehicles you can see that availability is displayed right here and it's no for each of the vehicles because we just added that field but if I now go to TARDIS I'm going to make it available save and close and I'm also going to make Pontiac Firebird also available okay save and close and let's just uh, check out our uh, API okay so now as you can see DeLorean is not available it has a zero right here uh, a Reliant Regal also not available but our Pontiac Firebird is available and TARDIS is also available so okay we got our API uh, finished or set up now we are going to go to our view application and we are going to create availability badge and then we are going to display our vehicles and show if they are available or not once someone chooses the location in which they want to pick up the vehicle before we get into the code i just want to show you how our vehicle list looks right now so if we go to new york as you can see it looks marginally better than before so i changed it up uh, a bit behind the scenes of course this is going to be available for you on github the link will be in the description below so uh, you just copy out that code if you want your vehicles to look like this i'm not going to go through it all uh, we just changed up a bit uh, in a vehicle our vehicle uh, component and our vehicle list I just changed this uh, here a little bit and that's it uh, but as I said you can copy out this code from github I also added this uh, more details link which we are going to be using I think in the next episode uh, but I also added this badge right here it's very similar to this one we are going to use this code to create our availability badges which are going to show if our vehicle is available or not so in our code first of all we are just going to create a new component which we are going to be calling availability badge that view of course okay make this bit bigger template so we are of course going to have a template and uh, for that template we are going to use this right here so as you can see this is more details and this is our badge so I'm just going to actually cut this out save it uh, put it into availability badge uh, component and now I'm going to delete this because we don't need this and what I want to do right here is if the vehicle is available then I want to say available but if it's not available I want to say not available right so to do that we of course need to create some props and we are going to create a prop of available 
which is going to be a type of number because we are getting numbers from uh, from our API so 0 or 1 and the default of that number is going to be 1 okay and now we want to say okay so write available if the vehicle is available and write not available if the vehicle is not available so how do you do that without using another uh, HTML element? Well, you can use template again and just do v if on it. So v if available. So if the vehicle is available, then we are going to write available right here. And if the vehicle is not available, we are going to write not available and we are going to add an exclamation mark right here so this means vehicle is not available so the uh, the number of the prop is zero in this case okay save this now in our vehicle that view we need to create another prop which is actually going to be the same prop as this one so i'm just going to copy it out and paste it right here below the price because we need the way of uh, to add that prop through our vehicle list so i'm just going to save this and right here we need to add an availability badge so availability badge right okay uh, um, just once again i just wrote availability badge and php storm automatically added this right here and also this right here so it uh, registered the component and imported the component if your editor does that great if your editor doesn't do that you have to write this by hand okay so we define our prop right here available is going to be available okay save this and now we need to go to our vehicle list and add that prop also here uh, which is going to be vehicle so let's check this out so it's going to be vehicle available okay okay so now this should i think work if we save this go to our browser refresh this and if I do New York, as you can see, DeLorean not available, not available, uh, Pontiac available, TARDIS is available. Great. So we are getting that. Uh, there is one more th thing I want to do. I actually want to change the colors of those badges depending of uh, if the vehicle is available or not. So I'm just going to go first of all to my tailwind.js file and add a green color since I didn't leave a green color right here. So I'm just going to add a green color, save this. And now in our availability badge, we are going to bind a class to it. So when you're binding classes, uh, then uh, you can use some logic to display a class depending on on some data in our case on available data so I'm just going to uh, say class equals then we open up an object and in that object we first define a class so we say bg green so if the vehicle is available add bg green class to this span right here but if the vehicle is not available then add bg red class right here right and that should be it let's just save this go to our browser as you can see not available not available the greens are available and we just want to change the color of our text so that the text is more visible so text uh, is not gray darker but white white save this go to browser as you can see now this looks much better 
Okay, so this is it for this episode. Uh, remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.